Hey guys, this is Mrs. Haley. Um, I'm here with the chapter two review and I'm going to tell you the answers. So which of these are represented on map A? Label one example of each term that is represented. So on map A, you should have said you saw the North Pole, which is up here, the equator, the prime meridian, Hemispheres, there's the Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, you do not see a region. We see latitude, which are the lines that go across, like a ladder, horizontal. We see the South Pole, which is 90 degrees um, latitude. And we see longitudes, but we do not see time zones on map A. On map B, uh, you do see a country. The country we see is Canada, Mexico, United States of America. We see regions. Um, this is the southeast region. This is the northeast region. Um, you see the um, time zones. Okay, that's all we see on that, that map right there. Okay, let's look at page two. What are the imaginary lines that we use to determine an absolute location on Earth called? They're parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. What is the equator? It's the line of latitude around the center of the Earth that divides the Earth into two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. In what direction does the prime meridian run? You could say it runs from the top of the Earth to the bottom but we would want to use uh, social studies words. It goes from north to south, the prime meridian. What are the lines of longitude in relation to the prime meridian? Well, the lines of longitude go east of the prime meridian and they're west of the prime meridian. What do coordinates of latitude and longitude help you figure out? Well, you should remember it helps you find the absolute location, which means the exact location. Then it says identify and label the equator, a line of latitude, and a line of longitude on the globes. Uh, this dotted line at zero degrees is our equator, and the lines above at 30, 60, and 90, or below 30, 60, or 90, or the ones in between, are lines of latitude. Uh, long lines of longitude, there's the prime meridian, and then you see that the lines of longitude go from north to south, uh, east of the prime meridian, and west of the prime meridian. You do not have to send me a copy of your workbook page, I mean your review sheets completed, because you know the answers. You do need to start studying. Our test will be on Thursday. Thanks.